in the last episode of CKC's Kenshi, The Walking Dead. A group of six different people, the first one being Slick Grimes, had negative 75 in his leg, so he lost his fucking leg. The zombies have arrived. Thick Grimes ended up dying. Tragic blow to the head ended up knocking the bitch out for good. Welcome back, fellow psychopaths. It's your boy, Cool Kid Croc, and today we're here for episode two of Kenshi, The Walking Dead. Currently, Slick is doing some research while Barry Bugman just crawls around the base, and the other four people we have are all running around trying to get some loot off of the local zombies. Since we are still very low in our combat stats, I'm trying to make sure I only attack the zombies that are already pre-injured, ones that are just getting up from being knocked out and shit. And the type of loot we do get from the zombies is very good. It basically supplies us with enough cats to get new recruits, move, get better equipment. So I decided I would send the strongest member of our group to the east over towards Black Desert City. I wanted to go here because Barry Bugman really needs a leg and he's been crawling around just for two episodes. But once entering the Deadlands as a Greenlander, you're faced with Acid Rain. Now if the name of it doesn't fucking describe what it does, Acid Rain basically burns acid into the Greenlander's skin. And because he started to get fucked up by it, I had no other choice really but just to send him back around and towards the way station again. Perhaps once we recruit a skeleton or maybe figure out something for acid rain protection as far as armor goes, but as of the moment, there's no reason to die like that. Unfortunately though, on the way back, Azel would see a group of nomads fighting a skimmer. Now he decided to go and team up with them and try and fight the skimmer as well. This was a fucking shit idea, man. I've gotta stop mixing the oil and the hash into the same bong load. The shit is fucked. Since Azel was knocked out and at minus 60, I had to send Fufu out of the building and way station over to him to try and save him. Now she had to run by a huge group of zombies as they're all scattered around fighting ninjas and nomads and other groups. It's still the first week, yet this is one of the most insane fucking gameplays of Kenshi I've ever had to do. Fufu gets stopped by two fucking limping, like basically already dead uh, d undead zombies. Okay, the bitch gets fucking wrecked, like, this is stupid. She goes down, and since she's down, I have to send fucking Ark out of the town and try and pronounce his name, and boom, Azo died. We were literally probably fucking four minutes away from him, and he died. Now, it's very unfortunate to lose the strongest unit in our fucking weak-ass team. Definitely doesn't help fucking Slick or anyone in the group. Either way, though, I made sure to grab Azo's loot, as well as the loot off some of the zombies and the skimmer that was lying around. And then I noticed there were three bloated zombies on the behind side of a way station just knocked out there. They have six animal skin, which sells for about 1200 in total. So first I had Ark empty his inventory over at the bar, as well as purchasing a couple sleeping bags. That way we could put them inside of our watchtower. And here, at least, we don't have to pay for the bar beds anymore, as well as we'll just be able to hit rescue if we want to be lazy and not pick up everyone. And after putting in a food storage, the watchtower is looking pretty homely and nice, honestly. We have to make the most out of this waste station and the area that we are at but either way Ark has to go around the way station dodging other zombies that are eating and this is when one of the bloated zombies actually woke up right when Ark arrives he has to fight this bloated zombie luckily though Whitebone ran out of a way station over to Ark and started attacking the bloated zombie with him together the two of them were able to take down the bloated zombie and then loot the corpses of the other ones that were around netting at least over 3k profit made this a very good run as well as finding a zombie brute these type of enemies are pretty hard for us to take down on our own so find them once other people have taken them down is always great. Just after one day of looting, we might have lost another unit, but we gained over 20k. So I decided it was time for us to get a couple more recruits. These ones are going to be named after subscribers. The first Shrek I recruited, I named after Endo SSAD. <laughs> Okay, I've known the subscriber since I was at like, I don't know, 100 subs. I just realized his name's probably Endo's Sad and not Endo's SSAD. My fucking god, get me help, boys. Moving on, though, the next recruit I wanted to get was a Scorchlander, just for the weapon smithing and other bonuses. And this nice bald man I'd renamed to Cool SS. And with that, we were looking pretty good, honestly. We had replaced the two recruits that had died. And now my main focus was to upgrade the training dummies. Now, I needed steel bars for the training dummies to upgrade them. And it turns out there's only one fucking steel bar at the place beside us. So I could only upgrade one and then have other ones just sort of sit there. But either way, now we could at least get our melee attack up to level 10 for everyone. I am pretty thankful I did this as just a few moments after a not a zombie group, a zombie horde decided to swarm and attack the way station. 
At first, it was just a bunch of normal looking zombies with a few maybe broods and stuff scattered throughout them. But then a giant group of the infected humans started to fucking wumble dumble towards everyone. This was definitely not good. Even though the ninjas are pretty strong and there's quite a few of them, the outcome of this battle could have really went both ways. The amount of zombies that was there, it was just too fucking much for anyone really. Like we got a couple hits in on them, but most of it was either trying to block, dodge, or run. People like White Bone had to crawl around and try and attack the zombies at a point. Soon enough, one by one, everybody had fallen. Normally this would be a death scenario, but but luckily, we were near the way station and all the ninjas were still attacking the zombies, making sure that no one was getting eaten alive. Whitebone was going corpse to corpse, picking up cats and other goods. And Slick attempted to bring Ark and a few of the others into the city, that way they wouldn't get eaten alive by the zombies that were fighting. Unfortunate for him though, he ended up running into a zombie brute right at the gate. And the zombie brute's just too fucking much for him to handle. Slick would end up going down just leaving Barry Bugman. At this point, zombies did start to try and eat alive the people in Slick's group. But Barry Bugman would have none of it, even though he's missing a fucking leg and this group is kind of a piece of shit. Barry Bugman's got this. After going up to everyone and tending to their wounds before they bleed out, Barry Bugman goes to the bar to recruit a brand new Sheck named Tyler. So Tyler would be running outside of the gate to pick up Slick and the rest of the group and bring them back into the watchtower and put them into beds. We needed more recruits anyway, so it's not like this is really a waste. As well as with all the animal skins, teeth, and other shit we got, we ended up making a shit ton of money back. There are other ways to make money, just right now, this is how I'm playing the overhaul, so fuck off if you don't enjoy it. I think it was pretty good. We managed to make 25k from that zombie raid on the way station. And with the shops refreshed, I could grab the other three steel bars. Now everybody could train together throughout the night or when we're not doing fuck all to get their melee attack up. The next priority was really just getting the training dummies even better, so I wanted to get tech level 3. Slick and his group still have plenty of money for books, and even when they buy books, they can just go and loot more or try and lure some zombies to the way station, something like that. There's lots of ways to make money. As well as for strength training, with the people that weren't doing anything, I got them to pick up the zombie guts and then pick up a zombie and basically just walk around. It's not the most efficient, but it was better than them just sitting around doing nothing. Well, as I am looking into more mods, I might get the advanced training dummies mod, just let me know if you guys want now get them fucking dicks out boys because we got the research bench up to level three all right it's not too great but at least this way we could go into training and give the level three training dummies these ones all require an extra electrical component and of course i did the same thing as i did with steel bars i went through and upgraded all of them first before buying the shit i needed and then to what fucking surprise when going to buy the shit i need there's only one electrical component out there like, dude, I don't know what my ancestors did to give me such fucking shit luck in this game. But right after, we ended up getting blessed with a Blood Raider attack. These guys have a round 30 in stats, so I ended up saving one of these guys. Imprisonment was on the technology tree being researched, so after a little bit, I could set up some cages and try and recruit him. Having a character with stats that high will be a huge help to our group seeing as we lost a Zell, basically our 30 stat unit. But now I decided I would send French Toast up north. I know the United Cities might be up north somewhere in the Great Desert. So the plan was to go there and try and look for a limb for Barry Bugman. On the way there though, French Toast was forced to have to sneak around numerous hordes of zombies that were just walking by. And some of these groups are just fucking insane. Like you'd think you'd know when they're around, but they can be right beside you and just sneak up on you in groups of hundreds one of the biggest groups i've found and has a lot of diverse different zombies just an absolute fucking hellhole to actually get involved in as we've seen with fights of a let's struggle with the hungry bandits a huge group like this can be a bitch to handle not to mention they'll fucking eat you alive afterwards and tell you're nothing like, it bad fuck over if you end up losing. <laughs> Either way though, French Toast is able to use his skills to sneak around all the group. I guess all the foot travel from a hundred zombies all near each other probably drowns out the sound of French Toast screaming in the distance as he runs away with his arms flailing. Like, dude, I would be out of that bitch in the most unfashionable style ever. But a couple hours later, he would finally stumble upon the city of Stoke, a United City city that unfortunately did not have <laughs> anywhere that sold limbs or anything like that so this entire trip was a waste but to make up for that i decided to not make it a waste and go into the ranger shop i haven't seen these places honestly ever in kenshi <laughs> i don't know maybe i just hang out around the same area too much and i've also never really had a crossbow person in my team so now after 420 hours of fucking playing it is finally time to have a crossbow person in my fucking series holy shit hopefully this should slow down a lot of the zombies and give us some more like 
actual range protection and he won't take damage when fighting most of the time. I did also grab him though some light armor as well as a better katana in case any zombies or anyone comes up close. I spent quite a bit of money on french toast in this one but I'm gonna try and train him up a little bit soon. Back at the base though I was able to finally grab the other electrical components I needed and then with the training dummies all upgraded to level 3 we can get our melee attack up to level 15. Level 14 and 15 is a lot better than level 10 even though level 10 is a good step up and throughout the night basically a line of fucking coke <laughs> of zombies you know just walked by me an even bigger group than the other group i think just fucking insanity but in the morning when french toast was on his way back a group of runners actually ran into my ass <laughs> French Toast isn't a bitch though, so he was able to run through even though he got hit a couple times, he didn't lose too much speed and once regrouping with the rest of the team and some of the ninjas from the way station, everybody was able to get together and take out the zombies one by one. Runners aren't too hard to take care of, they're just really fucking fast so you kind of forced to deal with them one way or another. After the battle though, I had everybody go back into the watchtower and heal up one by one, trying to get some rest. And then once we had the prisoner cages open, I had Whitebone place the Blood Raider that we had gotten earlier into one of the cages. But before recruiting him, there was a huge battle going on of outside of a way station. So of course, I had to go check it out and make sure that we grab whatever loot or good shit I was over there. Now quite a few of the zombies, like they got knocked out, but they get right back up. Mostly because they're getting knocked out from blood loss or very like minimal wounds. Some of their toughness stats are just insane being around from like 40 to 70 it's fucked okay this is tyler vashek the other guy the uh, one before him was french toast i'd re-record it but i think it's better just to leave it in to show you guys just how fucking baked i am some days after arc went over to the bar and talked to the people in the mercenary guild and recruited them for two days to protect the group the reason for doing this is that we finally need to leave a way station there's not enough power here from the one wind turbine to support our level three research bench so unfortunately we just can't really make a home here even if we wanted to but with a mercenaries guild following us and them protecting us i'm thinking Thinking we should be a lot better off and if we're just solo it doesn't guarantee the group's passage over to any new city but it does at least ensure they'll be a little bit better but either way i hope you guys liked this episode of kenchi i want to try and have a lot more content out soon i've just been super busy with irl life stuff but thank you guys for supporting the content and giving me all the fun times i have been having it does mean a lot and shit and i hope that you guys are having fun time as well either way though stay blessed and peace